It's Monday and I'm here with a romance discussion topic. Are there too many dukes in historical romance novels? Hmm. In case you don't read a lot of historical romance, uh, dukes are kind of at the top of the totem pole. So here's the graphic. Up at the top here we have princes and kings. Nobody wants to write about them because it reminds us all a little too much of history class. Um, then we have the Dukes. Hold on, let me just, I'm, I'm just gonna do one thing. Fix this up real quick with my, yeah, okay. So you can see here, Dukes, the best. Um, Marquis, I mean, they're okay. They're almost Dukes. Usually they're the sons of Dukes. Um, Earls, I like Earls because it's like, it's kind of lofty to be like the Earl of this, the Earl of that. And then you have Viscounts, uh, okay, you don't pronounce the S. If you pronounce the S, then you'll be like I used to be, not knowing how to pronounce it and saying it Viscount. Um, and then you have the Barons at the bottom. I mean, it's nice to be a Baron, but they're freaking everywhere, not like the Dukes who are the best. Sometimes on Twitter, yes, I still go on Twitter, I don't know why. But sometimes I'll see a tweet that's like, I have had it with all the dukes in romance land. Or like, this is not realistic. Every hero in romance is a duke. In real life, there aren't that many dukes running around. Whatever, we know that. You know, in contemporary romance, there's something called billionaire romance. It's a whole genre of billionaire heroes because women like rich, successful guys and dukes are the rich, successful guys of historical romance. I mean, any of those guys, earls, barons, I mean, they weren't on every street corner either. Most of the guys during historical times, just like today, are just your regular guys that are, you know, making enough money to get by, drinking beer, burping, leaving pee dribbles on the toilet seat. We all know this, but that doesn't mean I want to read a romance about, you know, Joe Schmo that works all day and then comes home and drinks a beer and dribbles pee on the toilet seat. No, dukes are great. They wear fancy embroidered clothes. They probably have gold buttons. <laughs> maybe they look like this, or maybe they look like this hot guy. They certainly don't look like this guy, who's just a normal schmo who, uh, I'm sorry, maybe it's a moral failing in me? Not interested. You want less rich, successful guys in romance? It's supposed to be a fantasy. These are supposed to be guys that are gonna sweep us off our feet and literally pay for everything. Dude, I'm, I'm tired of paying for my own shit. If you're with me, I've created some great hashtags. So if somebody's on Twitter being like, there's too many dukes around, I just can't stand all these dukes because I don't actually like successful hot men then um, you can post one of my hashtags. So I have this one here, love dukes, which we do. Uh, there's this one, hashtag never enough dukes. Uh, this one's a little more insistent, hashtag gimme dukes. And then this one's my favorite, hashtag duke cock 24 seven. In other Duke news, as I said, I finished my book. The name of the book is Rival Desires by me, Annabelle Joseph, and um, you can go and pre-order it right now. I would love for you to do that. Um, it's not actually about a Duke. It's about the Duke's son, who's a Marquess, who will be a Duke one day, so. Mm -hmm. um, Anyway, that's it for me. Take your Duke hate and you can show. 
I hope everybody has a wonderful week and I hope you will consider pre-ordering my new historical which has lots of spanking and loveliness. Bye guys!